Manhattan, it's the uh, cyber sex case we're reading about in the yeah. Paper. This is the story of a woman who went on the into a chat room in America Online. That's right. Yeah. Met a guy that she thought was very intelligent and yeah. very interesting. Yeah, square. Not boring like all the other guys. Yeah. So oh. they started up this email <laughs> correspondence. On the golf course. And I guess some of her email. You're sexy. <laughs> yeah. And indicated that she liked S&M. Or at least that's the way it seemed to the person who was receiving it. I have my legs spread. Yeah. <laughs> Something's dangling in the golf hole. So eventually, <laughs> the two of them decided to get together. Rub my back. Yeah, you black girls, rub my back. I'd drink some wine with a straw. <laughs> Bring your husband. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, the woman is a 22-year-old... Barnard student, and she's now oh, on oh stand. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Is there a chicken in there? In this case against Oliver Yovanovic. Oh. Yesterday, they say the woman broke down when she was shown a book containing photos of dismembered bodies that was on Yovanovic's coffee table the night of the alleged attack. You're I guess trouble. they had gone out for a little while and then had agreed that they would go back to his apartment to and watch a movie. And sit on the toilet and receive oral sex. <laughs> no, different fantasy. No, <laughs> crawl across the floor. <laughs> Sick as mine. They were going to watch a movie. She said she felt comfortable going back to his apartment because she thought he was gay. At some point during the dinner, he said to her that he liked girls that look like boys. Yeah. And she yeah, says, but too. I don't look like a boy, do I? And he said no. So she thought, thought even though they, it was a little uncomfortable being on the date with him, she decided to go back to his apartment anyway. Dang it. <laughs> I'm sitting After on the toilet her. waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> crawl across the floor. Crawl a little faster. Apparently, after Pretty being there oh, for up. a little <laughs> while... He tied her up. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the refrigerator. He beat Bad. her. Beat her. Sodomized her. Right. Yeah. Tortured her with a baton. Yeah. All the while telling her how stupid she was. Yes, yeah, stupid. <laughs> Sounds like you are. are. You're an idiot. For Stand there and be humiliated. Taking his date after meeting him. You're stupid to come back here with me. Online. Hey. My legs are spread on the toilet. <laughs> However, <laughs> she continued, just like this Kathleen Willie, she right. continued to yeah. email this guy after the attack. Don't involve me. <laughs> I wonder if they went on the golf course. Oh, <laughs> dear. Look, there's blue water in the toilet. <laughs> Maybe there's one listener from 7 o'clock that knows what the hell you're talking about. Who cares? Oh, yeah. We love it. It's funny yeah, when you In one email, she even said <laughs> she was drawn to the pleasure of hell's pain. Come to me. <laughs> yeah. She emailed Jovanovic about dismemberment and explained how she thought dirt was quite erotic. You look harmless. I like dismemberment. <laughs> you can diss me and then... Be with my member, man. Yes. Butt stuff in a glass elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull up my fingernails. And so my anyway, back. <laughs> the woman will be back on the stand today. The prosecution contends that this was an unsolicited uh, or an unconsensual attack. The uh, defendant saying that uh, this woman knew what she was in for and wanted it. That's right. When she got home, she was just <laughs> amazed at her own acts and was repelled by them. And that's why she complained to the police. I got one for you. Let's sit on the golf course naked with my legs spread and girls suck my fungated feet. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> a Connecticut man has been convicted ah. under a new law that prohibits sending pornographic material to minors over the computer. Use your James, finger. James <laughs> was convicted yesterday on two counts of disseminating indecent material to minors and one count of promoting an obscene sexual performance by a child. Oh! These fellas, Robin's trying to do her news. He's doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> they say that he engaged in criminally offensive sex chat with a person he believed was a young girl. But the girl really was an undercover detective posing as a 13-year-old in conversation with Barry. Oh. Again on America Online. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. Come on, I was only having fun. We were just trying to have some fun. Jesus. They arrested oh. Barrows as he, as he arrived. <laughs>
in South Brooklyn in December of 1996 for the purpose of having sex with the girl. Yeah. I didn't know she was 13. If she's old enough to go to the store, she's old enough to get bread. And get it? the toilet. <laughs> Just imagine this. Running thin, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> imagine me with my legs spread on the toilet, no, Robin, and you could that. give me oral favors. She's done it. She's I done don't that. want to talk about I'm it. I'm your tubby Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> you know you would. God of thunder and punchlines. Are you done? I no. think he'll run out of steam eventually. <laughs> we love doing it. You know what my fantasy is, Robin? What is your fantasy? So my legs spread naked on the <laughs> golf course with an African American. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe even an Indian. Not the American Indian, the East Indian. <laughs> with a dot in the head. An African American. <laughs> <laughs> African American. But not too that was African. A good one, an African American. <laughs> <laughs> and a Dutch woman. <laughs> Preferably Huguenot. That was right. Oh, dear. An Aryan beauty in elevator. A man buying a used car at a sheriff's auction in Brooklyn opened the trunk and found a woman's body. Yeah, I read about that. The corpse was handcuffed, and police say it was found by the buyer at 1250 yesterday afternoon at a lot owned by Midtown Enterprises in Red Hook. How many miles on this car? <laughs> the 1986 Chevy Celebrity had been purchased by a man at the sheriff's auction on March 12th. I drive a Volvo. It's very safe. He left the car on the lot until Monday when he returned to examine it further. Police say the car had been parked at the outdoor lot for three months. The How body was, was the body? wrapped in blankets and a plastic bag. Nice cans. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know if it was a girl or a man. No, they say it was a woman. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> On the golf course. So we're going sex. to uh, check it out with the guy. You know what I would do to that corpse? What? I'd put it on the toilet naked. Who the car was registered to before it was impounded. <laughs> with its legs spread. And pour wine on her. <laughs> <laughs> a West Orange computer consultant has admitted to masterminding the kidnapping of his mother during a robbery. Yeah. Joshua yeah, Abbey and a friend he face. met on the Internet pleaded guilty yesterday to armed robbery, conspiracy, and criminal restraint. Urine. Authorities say Abbey lured his mother to the basement of her home last September. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then Nathan Smalley forced Miss Abby at gunpoint to write three personal checks yeah. and a note giving her son permission to cash it. Authorities say Smalley bound Abby when he returned from the bank with the money to make him make him appear as a, another victim in the case. The heist netted forty five hundred dollars. Both face up to fifteen years in prison when they're sentenced on April twenty fourth. Cash it. That's a fine. How do you do? Make Your it son the our rockers. Kidnaps you and makes you write checks. <laughs> Cash it! You can't say that on the air. It's oh. what a cat does it makes duty. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh. Yeah, I'm the king of the one liner. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford, as we heard yesterday on our airwaves, is in trouble again. <laughs> Angry Chinatown garment workers claim that she's stiffing them. Yeah. They claim she owes them $200,000 after they sewed her clothing line. Is that in yen or American? I <laughs> know that's in American. Wow, a lot of money. A handful of workers chanted, Sweatshop Queen, give up the green. <laughs> and picketed outside the ABC studios where Live with Regis and Kathy Lee is taped or shown live across the country. Cash it! They say they're fed up with Kathy Lee. I'm a Chinese. She's a hypocrite. It's another fantasy. <laughs> I want an African American and a Chinese. And a duck. <laughs> <laughs> the Vatican is now apologizing mm -hmm. to Jews for their stance during the Holocaust. Sorry, Jews. <laughs> but Jews are saying it's too little too late. Just like the Jew. Uh, never enough for them. <laughs> Can't please them. They say the Vatican studied the uh, <sighs> role of Catholics for ten Ow. years. Ow. And still didn't come up with any criticism of Pope Pius the Twelfth. Yeah.
They wear funny hats. <laughs> you know what they call those beanies? I can't believe that. It's very perplexing how they could not criticize the Pope during... <sighs> The Holocaust, but uh, that's what the Catholics have come up with. They are very <laughs> angered at Pope John Paul. They thought he was a more courageous Pope than that. Call the Yarmulkes! <laughs> Too cheap to buy the propellers! <laughs> As you said before, <laughs> Al Franken has a new show debuting. Yeah, lucky him! NBC Tonight. <laughs> you imagine the kind of money I'd make if I wrote a sitcom? Sure. Here's Al Franken. Even Nancy talking says. Talking about his right. character uh, on the show. Oh, okay. You know what I love? Oh. You guys carry on for 20 minutes. She's getting more and more pissed at me. No. I'm not I'm upset pissed with you. you. She loves when we make I'm fun not of you. I'm with anybody. Oh, I Why try to read my mind? I can't. Read my book, not my mind. Don't let me get through my mind. Trust me, she loves it when we goof on you. I, I, that, believe me. Well, <laughs> he's the show putts. There's no doubt about it. Me? So are you. <laughs> out there, but he's a different kind of putz than you've seen on TV before. He's, a, he's sort of an... Who's he talking about, Robin? He's talking intellectual about you. <laughs> who's an idiot. Oh. I know he meant that about me. I'll get him for that. Yeah, let's see him get up on stage. Sure. Remember the name Don yes. Simpson? Yeah, he was, he was a black a guy. Of, no, he wasn't. He's an African-American. No. He's an African-American. I want him on the golf course. <laughs> Isn't he a cartoon? <laughs> no, he is not an African-American. I know he is. <laughs> He's a DJ in uh, Washington. Uh, I no, played that's golf. Donnie Simpson. I played oh. golf once. <laughs> Don Simpson was a guy who produced movies. That's right. Uh, and I produced Among movies them? for Nancy. Yes. Among them was uh, Top Gun, oh, yeah. Flash Dance. Yeah. He what died two years feeling. ago at the age of 53 of a drug overdose. And he, he was on the golf course. Got the impression at that time he was one of Hollywood's bad no boys. Pants. But in Russian Malloy today, they say there's going to be a new autobiography. Uh, not, not an autobiography, a new biography. Yeah. By Charles Fleming about Don Simpson. Yeah. Called another disgusting joke book. <laughs> <laughs> and they say his drug use was really quite incredible. He yes. did heroin and cocaine. It's legendary. But he was so out of control that uh, Barry Diller, who was the executive of uh, Paramount at the time, fired him as the head of a production in, in the 1980s. At one point, they say his drug taking of prescription medication had reached the level of about $75,000 a month. I'm freezing in here, Robin. Oh, stop it. I swear to you, it's like zero. So really rub is. your hands together or hold Jack. Oh. He's pretty hot after all that torture. <laughs> 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 so anyway, he was spending $75,000 a month on prescription drugs. So out of control, Sam Kinison avoided him. He had an insatiable sex drive that led him to yeah. spend thousands of dollars on hookers to indulge increasingly kinky habits, which Fleming says uh, bordered on torture. Did he sit on the toilet? And Simpson the had his penis enlarged. He what? But the operation backfired. Uh oh. Ouch. Hey now. The injection became infected, oh. and it turned oh. all black and blue. Oh, oh, oh. It was oh. very painful. Ow. Ow. And the source of this story says, in the end, they had to take out whatever they had put into him. Oh. Ow. Nothing to put in the golf ball holder. <laughs> his, obses his obsession was increasing his sex appeal. With increasing his sex appeal and improving his looks, led him to take other extreme measures. He was eager to increase his sex drive, so he had testosterone implants put into his butt. Oh. I never heard of this before. And there was supposed to be a time release kind of thing, sort of pumping extra testosterone into his system from his butt. <laughs> wow. But the uh, implant didn't function well, so they flooded his system with testosterone, mm. leading him to become aggressive and uh, violent. So manly. I never heard of that. Testosterone implant. No, time released in, testosterone in butt, butt implants. In yeah. butt. Oh. That's beautiful. Who invented that? Where's the doctor who wastes time inventing that? I don't Dr. Dr. know. Bombay. <laughs> Dr. Bombay. <laughs> That's rather incredible. Samantha, I've just invented something marvelous. <laughs> What is it, Dr. Bombay? I, I invented buttock implants that are time-release testosterone. Well, everybody's going to want that. You mean you invented those yourself? No, I had some help from Dr. Mark Harris. <laughs> and they say that while reading a quote yesterday, Bernard Shaw of CNN uttered the F word. Is he an African American? What? Yeah, he was reading a quote from a book or something. He's African American. And it had the F word in it. But as he was reading, he forgot not to say the full word. I told you I can't ad-lib. <laughs> <laughs>
15 minutes later, <laughs> he apologized. I just want to say I'm sorry for the F word. If that offended any of you, I apologize deeply, he said. But I got to read literally what's on the page. <laughs> but that's what it says. F you. F you. F you. F you. F you for reporting. F you. <laughs> F you. <laughs> we got to get Tabor. That's what's F -U. happening. Thank you, Robin.